Today we are reviewing. Grab up. Yeah. Don't shy. Yay! This is a fighting game based on the series Shiny Four. That's right, he's back! The newest single by Tsuchiro Hoshi! Don't miss it! Yes, this is the next Shining Force game since Shining Resonance. Even though at this point people hardly call it Shining Force anymore. It's more like Shining whatever. And then we got this game here, where Shining is just a subtitle. Yeah, but at least this is a spin-off. A fighting game, no less. First released for arcades and now for PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. It was produced by Sega and developed by Studio Size Ensign, the same guys who made Shining Hearts, so they are familiar with the series. Each Shining game takes place in a different universe, but this one is a direct sequel to the Shining Blade continuity, although there are characters from Shining Hearts and Shining Resonance too. Well, there is no one from Shining Ark, though. This is a good opportunity to see a bit more of your favorite characters from Shining Blade, like Rage, Fenrir, Rage, Misty, Rage again, and Yukihime, who is partners with Rage. Wow, that's a lot of rage. I can understand the thoughts. It's crazy. No, it's not. It's not rage. It's me and you. The story of the game is so original. Magic balls of magic fly across the globe. The one who can collect them all can summon the legendary divine dragon. And he will grant any wish. Hey, that kinda sounds like dragon. Shut up! Yuga, a disciple from the temple that was protected at magic balls, tried to steal them to wish for power. But he only got one ball. Is it the one with four stars? Fuck off! The remaining balls got attracted to all the strong warriors, and one of the chosen ones was Pylon, Ryuga's childhood friend and a student at the same temple. She vows to save Ryuga from the path of darkness, and that's why she asks for the help of the group Shining Force. Okay, I know this plot has nothing special to it. But since the characters will get their wishes granted by a magical force, this should make for many funny and bizarre endings. Oh, so I thought. But it turns out that most of the characters don't use the powers of the magic balls. So it's really boring. And some of those endings just blow. Ima. And to make matters worse, the final boss is just a palette swap of your character. Lame. So lame. Really lame. La man. Let's move on to the gameplay now. When you start the game, you get to choose between two modes. The normal mode and, and the newbie mode. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's called simple mode. Nope. Newbie mode. For newbies who play like this. <laughs> The combat system is actually pretty complex. For example, the system from Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax would be very simple in comparison. In Blade Arcus, everyone gets a counter attack, explosive attacks, X moves, helpers, combo resets, and even super special move combinations. 
All those features can be used to create extensive combos. But those elements don't feel very unique. In fact, they all came from games like Darkstalkers, The King of Fighters, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and even Dojin games like Big Bang Beach. This would not be such a big problem if they made some changes or innovations to those systems, but everything works exactly like in those other games. The characters' movesets are usually very simple too. Some characters have two, maybe three special moves, and only two super moves. Some of those special moves even have the same function and feel very redundant, and all the special moves just look ugly and lack creativity. And now for the graphics. I don't like them. They tried to use a similar style to Guilty Gear X Surge, in which they used 3D models with textures to imitate the looks of 2D sprites. However, Blade Arms uses pre-rendered models, so it feels closer to that weird Koi Hinemu Soul Fighter. At first glance, they look just like the illustrations by Tony Taka, but their movements look robotic. By the way, the characters don't show much facial expressions, which makes them feel even more like robots. The characters will often reuse the same animations for introductions, taunts, and victory poses. All those recycled animations give a very cheap feeling to the game. Well, at least their hearts were in the right place. The boobies. As always, Tony Taka loves to draw big breasts, and Blade Arcus lets you collect all the lewd illustrations he did for the Shining series. The soundtrack is... okay, I guess. But it's not very memorable. Some tracks even sound very similar to each other. The CPU isn't very smart, so you will want to fight against some older humans, which is the best thing to do in a fighting game anyway. But guess what? There is no line mode. The only solution would be to invite some friends to play with you. Now, good luck trying to convince them to play this instead of something like Street Fighter, Guilty Gear, or anything else. Unfortunately, Play Jarkus was a huge waste of opportunity. When I compare it to Persona 4 Arena, which was also based on an RPG, I can see that this idea has a huge potential. But you don't see those RPG elements very often in Play Jarkus, and you will probably forget they even exist in this game. To make matters worse, it was based on Shining Blade, which is arguably the best Shining Force ever since Tony Taka took over as the main artist of the franchise. But I hardly think this game lived up to the expectations. You know, I still think this is much better than that Dengeki Bunko game. The gameplay feels much more complex, complete and fun. Eh, maybe. But this game feels very half-assed overall. Which is really sad. And to think this was the first shining game for the PlayStation 4 makes it even sadder. Now I feel really depressed. Sometimes the world is black and tears run from your eyes and maybe we'll all get really sick and maybe we'll all die So let's build a snowman We can make them our best friend Point of view. If you build me a snowman, then I'll build one for you. Snowman, snowman, snowman. Hey, I feel much better now. 
Ah, I also forgot to mention that the game is pretty expensive too. Bye!